Five <laughs> INFJ superpowers. Amazing things are attainable by every single person. Everybody has unique superpowers, qualities that set them apart from others. We have something to offer the world in the form of our superpowers, and the world also needs them. We can significantly impact the world when we completely utilize them. Every personality type has amazing superpowers, and if you aren't already using yours, I urge you to do so. I want to concentrate on the INFJ's superpowers in this video, because it is the least common of the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types. Other kinds, especially introverted intuitive ones, will also be able to use some of these superpowers. However, the INFJ has a particular need for these characteristics. INFJs everywhere, I hope this message inspires and empowers you. INFJ personality superpowers include 1. The ability to predict the future. INFJs can't genuinely see into the future as they're looking into a crystal ball, but it doesn't mean they can't make predictions. INFJs have a remarkable talent for reading people and situations, and we frequently have the capacity to foresee what will happen. Although we don't always get it right, we usually do. Where do we start? We can read body language well, see trends in human behavior, and pay attention to interpersonal interactions. All of this is a function of our introverted intuition, which enables us to predict conversations and other people's emotions in advance. In essence, INFJs notice patterns that most people do not. Our assumptions are based on details that we have carefully observed and that no one else has even noticed. INFJs are therefore formidable when it comes to reading people and circumstances, and then behaving appropriately. 2. Having a high capacity for empathy. INFJs are extraordinarily good at showing kindness. We are extremely sensitive individuals who are easily moved to tears by even the smallest act of wrongdoing or abuse, and we always have room in our hearts for those who are in need. Because we have a strong sense of empathy for other people and typically have an intuitive understanding of how others feel, we frequently put the needs of others above our own and find it difficult to resist doing good things for them. It seems as though we are obliged to assist people all the time. That's not to suggest we can't occasionally be harsh, judgmental, or self-centered. We have a negative side, just as every personality type. However, it would take a lot for an INFJ to genuinely damage you, and even then, we'd probably cry and apologize. Most of us are unable to handle confrontation, and we are especially unable to handle it when loved ones are injured. We merely desire to love, be loved, and uplift others. For the sake of making someone else even a little bit happy, or seeing them smile, we will go to enormous lengths. An INFJ excels at empathizing and our kind hearts will always go above and above. 3. Awareness of other people's perspectives INFJs have difficulty being objective since they are emotional and sensitive, but that is what we definitely strive to be. We think it's necessary that we all make the effort to comprehend other people's viewpoints because it's really significant. In most cases, we can and want to walk a mile in someone else's shoes, which is very helpful in tense situations. We rarely ignore other people's opinions. Instead, we typically strive to see things from their point of view and value everyone's input. Even when we disagree with someone, we frequently understand their perspective. For INFJs, the response comes naturally. We cherish the opportunity to engage with their point of view because we are so fascinated by people, how they make decisions, and what motivates them. Because we are excited about learning more about people's positions and where they are coming from, we are reluctant to immediately label anyone as being wrong. For us, understanding someone is more essential than persuading them to agree with us. We are curious about them. For us, the most important component of life is the relationships we have. While we can't read minds, we do a good job of comprehending others. 4. Self-control when it matters. You can depend on an INFJ to follow through on their decisions. If a goal is essential to us, we will make every effort to achieve it. 
We are, in essence, steadfastly self-controlled. This is not meant to minimize the work that must be done, though. We INFJs could have self-doubt, have a hard time staying committed, and get worn out in the process. But I'm trying to say that it will get done. This is a superpower indeed, especially when it comes to our work or education, because we won't let obstacles keep us from achieving our objectives. We hold ourselves to a high level, and when things go tough, we won't give up. When we set a goal, it's as if a lock in our brain snaps into place, putting us on a route with only one possible result. That's how we perceive it. I'll start doing this. I'll finish doing this. I'll get this done because that's all I can do. There aren't any other options. An INFJ will follow through, whether it's launching a business or making one more push-up effort. INFJs, beware of taking your self-control for granted. It's a superpower that everyone could use. You possess a remarkable advantage. 5. Surprisingly Adaptable This superpower complements the INFJ's propensity for understanding other people's viewpoints. We are incredibly open-minded and eager to discover new things. We also have a strong sense of reality and a creative imagination. We don't think anything is too impossible or silly if you put in the work, and we frequently witness how great concepts could become reality. Yes, we are dreamers, but we are also realistic and skilled at assembling the materials required to bring ideas to fruition. This is the result of our receptivity. Although we may come across as obstinate or even inflexible on the outside, INFJs are actually highly flexible thinkers. We enjoy delving deeply into broad concepts. You can bring any issue or proposal to the INFJ and be sure that we'll at the very least listen and take it into consideration. If you are an INFJ, you ought to appreciate your talents. When you do, both you and the world around you will prosper. Nothing should prevent that.